So what is visual odometry and how does visual odometry work? Basically, visual odometry uses a camera feed to figure out how you're moving through space. So from camera frame to camera frame, visual odometry looks at key points in the frames and is able to tell if you've moved forward or backward or left or right. And it adds that information to whatever type of other type of odometry that you have, such as wheel odometry, which uses how quickly your wheels are turning and at what rates to tell if you're moving forward or turning. So visual odometry is similar to how your wheels spin, able to tell you how you're moving just by what you see. So do you need someone to be developing VSLAM for you in-house or are there other off-the-shelf options? And the answer is there are some products or some open source packages that you can use a few that I know of, Google's Cartographer is a really good one that integrates LiDAR for SLAM. There's also one called Hector SLAM. And then for vSLAM, one that I'm familiar with is the Vins Mono algorithm. And I'm not really sure what the licensing is on those or, or really how capable they are. So really, as time goes on, more and more of those off-the-shelf products are, are appearing, but it's important to have someone who's developing vSLAM because it's still something that's largely under research and sometimes can be complicated to integrate with your system. If you have someone on your team who can work with Visual Slam, or if you have a product that can already do it, it can save countless hours of research and development and prototyping because it's pretty complicated. If you want to learn more about Visual Slam or anything else that we've talked about, please just click the link below and we'll get in touch with you.